Hello everybody, this is Andy Master. Welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Hopefully this controller isn't gonna like die on me as it's been, you know, not the best in terms of battery and stuff. Um, anyways, welcome back. The Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga in the last episode, um... The last episode we got to Joke's End after recovering the Bean Star. You don't know what the hell that is, go rewatch this playthrough, like Jesus. Or just don't watch this whatsoever. I don't really care, actually. It's really your opinion. It's really your choice, should I say? And okay, let's let's get started. Right here, there's a bunch of stairs. Okay, what this this controller? A lot of stairs. You know the drill. Just spin, and that's it. Hello there. All that you two, this place is our playground, understand? Do you two want to play here too? In that case, the least you could do is say hello to those of us who were here first. And me? I'm... Oh, hold on. I don't, I don't, I don't know, is that, is that Spanish? <laughs> I'm a buddy of the cousin of the descendant of the spirit who once guarded this place. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, that, that happened at one point. Put this peach balletta. Man, I have no idea what you're talking about. Whatever, look. If you want to go inside, then go right ahead. Be my guest. Go nuts. I don't know what kind of adventure you've been on to get here, but man, getting through here won't be nearly as easy as what you're used to. No way. Here, uh, we got a very simple light the torch puzzle. Um, and we got new enemies, uh, let's see, like, ice sniffets. You gotta have a bit of concentration for that. These guys, puff of smoke, just don't get poisoned. Yeah, ice sniffet. Alright, I was right about that. Now these guys right here, um, what are these called? Glurp. Jumping on them will do well. It'll do one damage, but if you have the if you have the um the great force, it'll do two damage. And they do have a relatively decent amount of HP. So you, so either you'll be here for a while, or you'll actually realize that. Oh, also hammers do too. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, this this controller. Wow! I just wow! I can't believe that happened. I really can't believe that just happened. Wow! This fucking controller, man. What the hell is in here? Batteries. I just charged these batteries. They're fully charged batteries. Okay, I'll put them back in again. See if this does anything. Oh my god. Input these days. Come on, man. Let's try this again. Oh. Well, I was going to show off the other enemies, but I guess this works too. Uh, these cavemen, uh, well, I guess we could show them these guys off. Um. Oh yeah, that's the other attack. Um, these cavemen, they'll, um, they'll hit the ground with their clubs, and it'll, uh, create a shockwave. Similar to Queen Bean, um, if they just do, like, if they just do a shockwave like that, um, I'm going to try to not kill it. Oh, damn it, I'm gonna kill it, aren't I? Okay. I, I, okay, I guess I can't show it off. Sometimes they'll burp, and it'll uh, power them up. Then on the next turn, they'll make a slow, um, but more powerful pink shock wave. Oh yeah, also, first strikes in battles do not apply to the two damage thing that these guys have. Or one damage, rather. Anyways, I was gonna say, with these enemies, 
using any sort of hand power, either one, will be a critical hit. Meaning that they are weak to it. Not not that it, you did, I got a lucky hit. Actually, I'm curious if you can get a lucky hit while getting a critical hit. That would just be confusing. Crucky or lytical. I like lytical. Oh yeah, again, just establishing that Luigi is a powerhouse. Probably, uh, Mario, Mario's hand powers would probably be pretty good in this area in general. Using your, your logical weaknesses in poke, in Pikmin. Although, it can be applied to anywhere really- No, I missed it. We. Let's wait for it, and yes! Yeah, this is how you're gonna deal with this. And here's one of these moles that gives you special stuff. Congratulation! Excellent job making it all the way here. Let me commemorate this moment with this. Take it, please. Got a red pepper. You got a green pepper. Again, I think I mentioned the um, the red and green pepper effects. I might do that at one point. Like, actually show the glitch that I was talking about, or use them. I don't know. Here's that girl again. She can float. I wonder if they can even make it over here. Or you. So she's talking directly to you. So as you can see, she's kind of a troublemaker. Um, and we'll even see later. I think she's either an idiot or completely, like... She's either, like, an idiot and being completely oblivious to what's going on around her. Or... She's really, like, a bad guy, but I don't know. Oh yeah, if you hand... If you hand this guy... Sometimes his wig will, uh... Will burn off, and he'll run away from the battle. It's useful. Uh... I want to see if I can like get like a low amount of damage so I can uh, show what happens. I want to. Oh god, this is gonna take a while now. I'm pretty sure these um, glurp guys, they'll um, they can pretty much just take abuse from like one hand power, and that's and then they'll just die. See, that wasn't even a. Okay, that, that guy burped, so, um, you know what that means. So I'm not even gonna, like, do anything. Ah. Well, at least I showed off that. Alright, what are we gonna go for now? I'm gonna go for HP. Sweet. Awesome. So, we can't get up where she is right now. However... Uh, we can't go there yet, either. Um... We can... Break that thing three times. And we have an elite troopy. Or elite paratroopy. I think that's what they're called. Oh, a scare a troopy. Okay. I guess they couldn't fit elite paratroopy. These guys are faster, and, and sometimes they're positioned like about where the, the glurp is here, so it can be kind of like hard to react to it. And you want to get rid of your white mages. And that's why. Alright, just healing themselves. Not too bad so far. These guys aren't too much of a problem. But they can multiply, so... But I think that's... I think that's... Like, they, they can only multiply, like, a maximum amount of times until eventually, like, there's too much on the battlefield, so they won't multiply. From 
what I can remember. I'm pretty sure you need to have at least killed one for them to multiply anyways. And if there were, there was originally two on the battlefield, they can only get to two. I think that's there's a rule. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. That guy talks about whirlwinds. It's like it's it's like this this area should have taken place earlier in the game where there was originally the whirlwind on Hoo Mountain or something. I'm curious, is is uh, my hand power good? No, okay, that was a lucky hit. Doesn't count. Yeah, okay, it is uh fire is critical against them. So that's so that's good. Um I think we're gonna improve Luigi's PP. Sweet. That's awesome. Just uh just so we can attack more, you know? Um, okay. Oh, this controller's working okay. I probably just jinxed it now. Um, uh, more who beans. Another who bean and a mushroom. Sorry, if my commentary seems like it's a little lagging. It probably isn't, it's just because I react to things slowly. <laughs> okay, who beans are actually almost good for the uh the who bean uh coffee. Not that it matters, because we're gonna have we're gonna get to that place where there's like hundreds of them. <laughs> Not really, there's like thirty maybe, I don't know. Uh these guys, let's see if we can make them burp. One of them please burp. Oh, no burp yet. Okay, we're gonna slow it down a bit. S one of you burp, please. Oh my god. Okay, well you get the idea. Whatever, I, I don't give a crap anymore. I'll still try to show it off. There. There. Now you'll, you'll see what happens. Those guys have more XP than I thought. Anyways, you'll see charges up and... That. <laughs> Whoa. That... Yeah, these guys are bulky. I didn't realize. Yeah... I know, I'm gonna be getting all these guys, and I know I might speed some of this stuff, it's just that I think that these battles don't go on for too long, and I do show some stuff off, so I apologize. I might skip ahead later. Um, right now we're gonna use our um, hand powers to the test. There we go. And this one can be, uh, kind of tricky. You gotta get, like, the last second. And then that happens sometimes. There we go. There we go. That was probably the hardest one to do in the game, I think. I don't know if I remember correctly. Uh, this one right here, you just wanna... What? It's... Uh, oh. I think he got a... You gotta go there. And now you're on the way back. What is, what is this? Okay, this thing isn't going to play nice, I guess. Okay. Hey, 
what is this? What is- I never- Maybe I went to a secret place or something. Oh god damn it. What is this? I've never seen this. Ah, oh, these things trick you. Yeah, what the fuck? Alright, speeding this up. Ah, oh, what the fuck? They don't give you enough time. Okay, there, finally. Like, Jesus. What was that? I guess maybe that was an alternate way to go or something? I don't know. Ugh, whatever, I don't care. Anyways, it opened this, uh, this place right here. Um... Yeah, I expected as much. Uh... If there's nothing here, I'm actually really su I'm really surprised right now. What's over here? Yeah, I'm not, I don't know this place that well. Uh, there are a couple things that, you know... <laughs> you know, they're probably gonna have enough at one point for... No, 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 stop. Whatever, we're gonna do this now. Because I accidentally hit it. Not realizing what type of... Okay, whatever. Just, that was kind of pathetic, but I don't even care. There's more here, I'm really just... It doesn't really matter, the Who Beans, right now. You can always get some more at the minigame that I was talking about. Anyways, anyways, let's... Let's get it. Wow. Okay. We probably have, like... Yeah, there's two more and we can make that Who Bean shake. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, let, let's just... Let's, let's just actually work here. Where we bubble the cauldron. The cauldron? What? <laughs> There's no T in cauldron. I think it's a D or something. No, it's just a cauldron. I, I, don't, I don't know. That word confuses me. Hi. Sir. Anyways, we make a whirlwind that goes up there. Thunder, even though it's nothing. Um, and I think you can see what's going on now. We've, uh, we've made it across. Barely, actually. This is where the real challenge starts. Look, you probably should just give up and go home. Yeah, okay, let's go. No. <laughs> um, we don't give up and go home. It's for losers. Um, should I, should I cut this out? I don't, I don't know. Whoa. Okay, lucky hits don't fuck around, I'm just saying. Oh, okay, that guy can handle that, apparently. Oh my god. How did I do that? How did I fail so bad? That was close. Why did I do that?
Oh jeez, that was pretty bad. Come on, Mario, you I just revived you. Uh That's it, Mario. As punishment, you have to you have to fight in this battle. Idiot. How are you like 57 mushrooms? I don't know why I don't use them. Anyways, we gotta separate our brothers. Luigi hits that, and you think we could continue, but now you just realize we're stuck here for a while. Mario is alone. Wait a, wait a second. Okay, no, I thought like you could go back, but there's like a, a high jumping thing that you can't get past. And Mario and Luigi have their own separate paths for a while. So we're going to be... We can make this jump. Okay, I thought there was going to be something there. Anyways, Mario goes there and Luigi goes there. This button is not technically important for anything. It is just like a side stuff, but we're going to show that off. And which means we're going to pretty much get rid of the enemies on Luigi's side. And yes, it's going to take a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go back to Mario. Make him hold, I don't know, the, the, uh, the power grip. Now change to Luigi. Why? Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's make Luigi hold the Great Force. Yay! Okay, and Mario's holding the sight spring. Okay, I've never used that. <laughs> now let's go back to Mario and I don't know, give him, let's give him the uh, the bonus ring. Now I'll be here for a while, even longer now. More enemies! Alright, Luigi leveled up. Oh god. More things. Whatever. Okay, um. We went too far. Um. Going north here. We'll let Mario go through. Oh yeah, those are Bros Blocks things. Um, Simu Block. Okay. So you have to hit them simultaneously with each brother. Um, now here with uh, Mario, I'm lining him up with the switch. Even though it's it, it's like a it's normal switch, I want uh, I want to just hit it right now because I think Luigi has to be in the room, or else it'll like despawn. So I'll leave Luigi right here, and you can see we got walls. So now, it's time for a reprise of the challenge in Hoo Hoo University, or Woo Hoo University. Hmm, wow, if you come all the way here, you obviously don't get give up easily, cool. So this is a present from me to you. Press the A and B buttons to hit the blocks, come flying and score points. If you get 30 points in 25 seconds or less, I'll open this door for you, cool. And here we go. Don't have much room for error, so... There we go. I was getting a little nervous about that one. That one's always one that, like, kind of, like... Uh, disturbed, not disturbed, it worried me. 
disturbed. It disturbed me on so many levels. Oh. Anyways, with Mario, we got these, um... It just happens that the side that Mario's on, we have four candles. And that opens that. Now, these blocks, they only appear... They only appear a couple times in this area. Uh, what they are is... Um... You'll see. If you hit them... Uh, with the brother at the bottom, it'll go up. Now you want to make sure you're, you're you're in you're in control of Mario because once again, if a brother is away from the other, all it can do is jump. All it can do, all he can do is jump. So you want Mario to be able to jump and to and move to the left, so we can go here, not just jump. Um, these guys, I don't know if we'll need to... Wow, we, we have way, way, like, way enough who beans. Um, I'm not sure whose side of the side of this place we're gonna have to get rid of. Um, now we're, we're going to go, um, now this is kind of cool. Um, with Mario, again, position him here and switch to Luigi so that Mario jumps. And, Lu and the barrel falls on Luigi. <laughs> That's awesome. So that you can get rid of that thing. Don't dish it out if you can't take it. It's like the rule for, like, Metal Man. Okay, there's a dig spot, but I don't really care about those right now, because we're, like, at the end of the game, man. We just gotta... We're almost done. And I just realized that, um... Let's get Luigi as far as you can. I just realized that we do have to get rid of the enemies in Mario's room. It's not too many, luckily, so, um... It's like, one, two... Yeah, that's only two. Three, okay, three. Anyways, let's start this. Okay, here's the last three enemies that we're gonna need to get rid of. I think, if I remember correctly, unless there's another room with a bunch of them. I wouldn't be surprised, but actually I think there are. God damn it. Mario leveled up. Let's increase his power. Hell yeah. Freaking three fives so far in this playthrough. God damn it, Luigi. You idiot. No. I'm sorry, man. That was rude. Just get rid of one of those guys. I don't think you get experience because you didn't technically like get rid of them. Well, I mean you did. It just you didn't kill them. So, just just a fair warning. Nope. Oh. Whoops. Sorry. I think I've hit the microphone. I don't know how the sound is going right now. Hope it's okay. Apologize. Actually, let me. There we go. Number one. Oh wait, no. That's sorry. That's number two. The last one. That was a mistake. Whoa. Poison does that much damage. 24 fucking damage? Whoa. Which is the way to go? Um... Never mind, that was just a bonus, or was it? Uh, where am I going? 